Alright, so here we are. This is going to be a tutorial on how to create a tally chart and tallies in Microsoft Word 2016 on Windows. So, first things first, step one is going to be to create the table. So to do that, you're going to want to navigate to the Insert tab on the top bar there, go to Table, and then choose the number of columns and rows that you want for your table. So I want three for my top headings, and then I want three rows for options and one for table, for the total I mean. And now you can resize it however you want. so and then you can add your headings so like frequency and tally and then if you want you can add in options here like so but I usually don't so now you can make these bigger so they're easier to read and then next you want to add in your options so let's just put in here option one, option two, and option three. And then write in total. And now we can add in numbers for frequency. So let's go ahead and add in, uh, let's say 10. And let's go with 19 and how about 8 the next one and that'll give us a total of 37 and now you want to add your tallies so first step very important is make sure you are using the font Times New Roman. So just go up to the font box, type in Times New Roman, and then when you click out, it'll change you to that font. And then using the key displayed on screen, hold Shift and press that key so you get just a straight up and down little vertical line, like so. And you want to add them in sets of four, pretending that they are five, because now what you're going to do is add the strike through. So you want to select one group of four tallies and then click the strike through button. Then select the other group and add a strike through. You want to be careful not to just select all of them like that and add the strike through because then you get a strike through in the space in between the sets of tallies and you don't want that. So if you do that by accident, just click the strike through button while selecting the area in between and it'll get rid of them. So now I'm just going to add the rest of my tallies here. We'll speed through this. All right, and now we're done. So let's do a quick recap. So first, you want to create the table. So to do that, you want to navigate to Insert, then Table. And then, using your mouse, select the dimensions that you want the table to be, so the number of columns and rows. And then, when you're happy with your selection, just click to insert the table. Then, once the table's been inserted, you can resize it by dragging the corners. Once it's been resized to your satisfaction, you can add headings across the top. So, for example, frequency, tally, or options if you want. Then add in your numbers or your frequency. So I chose to add in 10, 19, and 8. And then add in your total, which was 37 for me. Next, for adding your tallies, you want to make sure you're using font times new Roman. And then using the key shown on screen right now, you want to hold shift and press that key so you get just a vertical line straight up and down. 
then, after you've added your sets of four tallies, add strike throughs, careful, being careful not to strike through the spaces in between the tally sets. And then that's it. So thanks for watching this video. I hope it helped you. And if you want to see more videos like this, you can click the big red subscribe button beneath this video. And if you have any suggestions on a tutorial that you'd like me to do, just leave a comment below. This has been Everett, and I'll see you next time. Have a great day.